The following presentation is intended to help bring context to the facts surrounding this case. Some of the video has been edited to protect the privacy of the victims involved and to avoid the release of information that state law prohibits the sheriff's office from releasing. The redactions and edits do not affect the depiction of events presented in the video. The following presentation contains a map of the location, body-worn camera footage, surveillance, and photos of the scene. Some of the audio and visuals we are about to present may be disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. On Monday, September 2, 2024, at approximately 9 p.m., Kern County Sheriff's Office deputies assigned to Metro Patrol conducted a traffic stop for vehicle code violations in the 5200 block of Olive Tree Court. The passenger, Christian Dumas, had two active felony warrants for his arrest. Deputies attempted to arrest Dumas, and Dumas assaulted deputies to resist arrest and then fled. An officer involved shooting occurred during the foot pursuit. The following is footage of a department issued body worn camera of a deputy on scene. Please note the body camera does not capture everything the deputy sees, and the deputy does not see everything the body camera captures. Are you on probation or parole? You are on probation for what? Put your hands up on that. Anything in the car that's illegal, be honest. No. So yes, you do. No, it's break. What's in your backpack? <laughs> Where do you live at? Put your hands back up on here, man. Put your hands back up on there. Put your hands back up there. Yeah, please. I don't know that. Yeah, in a minute, when my partner gets back here, all right? After about two minutes, an additional deputy arrived on scene to assist with interviewing the driver. He might be on probation. Well, because I, well, I haven't searched it yet. Well, I don't know that. Okay, no warrants. Again. Um, I mean, I can check in with the bail bonds. So. Is there going to be a probation violation? Okay. Help me out with what? I'll talk to you. Okay, okay Christian. Let me, right. let me do my whole investigation, and we'll go from there. Okay? Don't call anymore, don't do anything stupid right now, and we'll go from there, okay, Christian? The deputy steps away from the window of the truck to conduct a record check and confirms Christian Dumas had two felony warrants. Alright, so go ahead step out, Dumas. Okay, yeah, definitely. Here you can see the liquid from the pepper spray that rubbed off of the deputy's skin and onto his patrol car as he retreated for cover due to his inability to see. Dumas assaulted a deputy and actively resisted arrest by pepper spraying the deputy and fled on foot. The other deputy on scene pursued Dumas and issued lawful commands to stop, however he continued to run into a nearby motel lobby. Here are the deputy's attempts to de-escalate the suspect by explaining the process and what action would be taken. The following is footage of a department-issued body-worn camera of a deputy on scene. Please note the body camera does not capture everything the deputy sees and the deputy does not see everything the body camera captures. First okay? name? He's sweating. If you got a warrant, it's all right, dude. We'll figure it out. What's going on? Nothing. We're looking for a friend. Okay. He on the other night. Okay. So we're you just, worried about him? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not trying to lie to you in any kind of way. No. And look, and that, like I told you, buddy, warrants or whatever, we got a lot of wiggle room with warrants. So I know people sweat and they start, you know, freaking out because they don't want to go to jail and all this stuff. But if you guys are cooperative with us, believe me. I'm 100 percent cooperative. Yeah. So this is, it's no big deal. Just go through the motions. I want you to be able to go quicker to go. Find your friend, uh, uh, so the yeah, quicker just, we can get through this part. Um, I don't use, I don't do anything, so. Is this your truck? Yeah. Oh. It's okay. Just go ahead and step out, and I'll, I'll, I'll write it down for him. Oh, okay. <gasps> hey! Hey! Sheriff's up, stop! What you got? The following clip slows down the moments leading up to the officer involved shooting. The deputy saw the people in the motel lobby as Dumas fled, creating a concern for their safety. 
Here you can see Damas running toward the deputy with both hands extended forward, brandishing a black object that the deputy believed to be a firearm. The deputy's rounds did not strike Dumas. He fled over a nearby fence. The following video surveillance footage from the motel lobby demonstrates the civilians in close proximity, creating a higher level of concern for community safety. Here is a closer look at suspected narcotics that were recovered from the lobby where Dumas had fled. Here is a closer look at the 7 ounce pepper spray canister that Dumas pointed and sprayed deputies with. In addition to the felony warrants, an arrest warrant, commonly referred to as a Ramey warrant, was issued for resisting arrest by violence during the incident on September 2, 2024. Homicide detectives responded to the scene to assume the investigation. Deputy Erica Andrews of the Kern County Sheriff's Office was placed on critical incident leave pending the completion of the investigation. On Saturday, September 7, 2024, at approximately 2 a.m., deputies located the wanted suspect Christian Dumas in the 100 block of East Monita Avenue, and he fled on foot to the 400 block of Chester Avenue. Dumas assaulted deputies with pepper spray once again during his attempt to flee. After he assaulted deputies, he was apprehended with the assistance of a canine. Dumas was treated at a nearby hospital and booked into jail. During the incident that resulted with his arrest, he was charged with obstructing a peace officer, resisting using force or violence, exhibiting a deadly weapon to resist arrest, illegal use of tear gas, harming a police dog, and multiple felony warrants. The Ramey warrant that was issued from the initial incident was for assault on a peace officer and obstructing and resisting. On September 23, 2024, Dumas accepted a plea deal in addition to his charges listed in his felony warrants for grand theft auto and reckless evading and resisting arrest. He is awaiting sentencing and could serve up to 10 years in prison. Kern County Sheriff's Office detectives investigate any use of deadly force by any member of the agency. Investigations are submitted to the Kern County District Attorney's Office for criminal review. On September 27, 2024, the Kern County Sheriff's Office convened an incident review board examining the use of force in this incident. The use of force in this case was determined to be within policy. If an individual is being arrested by a peace officer, it is their duty to refrain from using force or any weapon to resist arrest. The decision to use force shall be evaluated from the perspective of a reasonable law enforcement officer in the same situation, based on the totality of the circumstances known to or perceived by the officer at the time, rather than with the benefit of hindsight, and that the totality of the circumstances shall account for occasions when officers may be forced to make quick judgments about using force. Anyone with additional information regarding this case is asked to contact the Kern County Sheriff's Office at 661-861-3110 or current secret witness at 661-322-4040.